everyone and thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to be talking about shapes. Now do you remember in Dormouse and Hedgehog class we were learning about 2D shapes? Well done. And do you also remember that 2D shapes were... That's right, flat. 2D shapes are flat. We were learning about a square, triangle, circle, rectangle. Wonderful. Let's see if you can remember some of the properties of those shapes. How many sides does a square have? Wonderful. That's right, it has four. Let's have a look and count together. One, two, three, four. How many corners does the square have? Fantastic. Also four. Let's count together. One, two, three, four. Well done. Next, how many sides does a circle have? You remembered. It has one curved edge. Does it have any corners? No, there are no corners on the circle. Next, how many sides does a rectangle have? I can almost hear you calling out, it has two long sides and two short sides. Shall we count them together? One, two, three, four. And how many corners does the rectangle have? Wonderful. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Wonderful. Next, we have the triangle. How many sides does the triangle have? You are so good at remembering. Let's count together. It has one, two, three sides. And how many corners? Wonderful. Also three. One, two, three. So that was our 2D shapes. Next, we're going to be learning about 3D shapes. 3D shapes. 3D shapes are different to 2D shapes. They are not flat. 3D shapes are fat. Can you say that with me? 3D shapes are fat. Well done. The first shape that we're going to be looking at is this one. And this is called a cube. Cube. Now it looks like a square and it has lots of squares on it, but it is not flat. It is fat. Well done. Next, we're going to look at this shape. It looks a bit like a circle, but it's not flat. It's fat. It's called a sphere. Sphere. It's a bit of a tricky word to say, isn't it? And it also, like a circle, does not have any sides or vertices. The next shape is called a cylinder. Cylinder. Now the cylinder has circles on either end but it's not like a circle because it's not flat. It is fat. It looks to me a little bit like a glue stick. Next is this one. It's called a cuboid. Cuboid. Well done. Now a cuboid has some square shapes and some rectangle shapes, but it's not flat, it is fat. Well done. Now I want to see if you can pause the video for a moment and go around your house and see if you can find any 3D shapes. Now remember, I said that I thought this one looked like a glue stick. So maybe you could find something in your house that looks like a cylinder. Hmm, the cube looks a bit like a box of some kind. I wonder what you'll find. You can leave some comments on this video and I can see which shapes you've found around your house. So did you manage to find some shapes around your house that look like the 3D shapes that we've been learning about? 
Well done. I was also looking around my house to see if I could find some things and I found a shape that looks like cuboid. Well done. It's a box of tissues and it's not flat like a 2D shape, it's fat. Cuboid. Next, I found a shape that looked like a cylinder. It was the sand timer. Now we use these at school quite a lot, don't we? It's not flat like a 2D shape, it's fat. And it has circles on either side, can you see? Cylinder. I also found a shape that looks a bit like a sphere. Now this one was a little bit easier because a sphere looks like a ball. I'm sure all of you have a ball in your house somewhere. Maybe you have a football, tennis ball, or even a golf ball. It looks like a sphere. And finally, I found a shape that looks like a cube. It was my box that I keep my watch in. And it's not flat like a 2D shape, it's fat. You can see all around, cube. I hope you had fun looking around for your 3D shapes today. I can't wait to find out what you found in your house. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye.